milk the pot, but let's see some of your moves. Audio now? How about now? Audio? I see lights moving. How about now, Art? Can you hear me? Uh oh. Testing one, two. Let me see. Ah, good. Okay. Yeah. See, I have over here. Can't. I was going to spin this around like I do my phone. I have a mixing board that runs through the computer, but it's not facing me because it's there's actually a what I call a technician um, seat. And when I do it by myself, I just have to flip the switch. And I, when I was doing a TikTok, I don't use that same microphone, so I totally forgot to turn my mic on. So the first couple minutes are going to be um, not going to be good. So. Uh, we, again, now I can talk. We were going to talk today about toys. Um, I'm waiting for John to get in. We were running late today. Um, I'm waiting for John to join in. Uh, but with the Kenobi trailer, we had the Kenobi trailer um, drop, which was really cool. And uh, um, and then John, we were going to talk about stormtroopers because we didn't want to have we didn't want to have Ken's expertise. Um, Ken's expertise lost in uh, in in all of the in all of the mix up and stuff because we we're we're actually working on uh, so in the fall. Hang on, I'm trying to move the screen here. Downside to all these all these screens, I can't find where they're. Anyway, the, we we did a um, we did a uh, video in the uh, fall and we're doing reshoots uh, this weekend so i get to be a stormtrooper this weekend which could be good or bad depending on uh depending on uh, what's going on but we're going to talk about stormtroopers i'm just waiting for john because we're going to start at 8 30. and uh i'd like to get zoe on here but wednesday nights are bad for her because wednesday she has um let me see if I can get the chat overlay. 
There we go. Oh, I don't know. I'm learning. I'm still learning this. So I don't know if there's any questions from last week while we wait for John. If we if we didn't cover anything, I know we wound up talking about that giant inflatable um that giant inflatable uh, uh Millennium Falcon, which was really cool, but now I get nothing but ads for giant Millennium uh Millennium Falcons. So uh, but the Kenobi trailer, I just want to wait till John gets here to talk to him about the Kenobi trailer. Talk him into growing a beard and he can do he can do a Kenobi. Um, but let me see if I can. So we have celebration news, which was really uh, I don't know. I have a couple people watching, but I don't know if anyone in the in wants to hit the chat and um, tell me if they're going to celebration or not. Um, Let's see if I can. The Facebook chat was not working last time. So I'm seeing if it's working this time. I don't want to. I got one comment. Yep. Okay, good. Tim can hear me. My cousin can hear me. Good. But that his chat didn't come through. So that, that makes me. Um, maybe it's because it's delayed or something like that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that works. The uh, the Facebook Live is is a little. I'd say go over to YouTube. I don't know if Facebook Same wants me to say that. Or not. Can it but looks like the Facebook Live so that, that makes me, um, fairly delayed. It's delayed or something like that. I'm I not think. sure. Oh well, I don't know. You haven't seen it. Well, then you should you should just pause this or close this window and watch the full trailer. I watched it twice because I was teaching all day. So I, I I put my phone away to try to set a good, good example for my students. And so then when I opened my, got my phone out of my bag, there's all these texts and stuff about the Kenobi trailer. So, um, but yeah, that's that's uh, definitely, definitely a good trailer. I haven't looked, I don't think they've given us, um, I don't know who. I don't know who. Um, if they give us credits on who's doing it, I. I mean, I'm just trying. It doesn't. It just tells me the stars. When I, oh, here we go. Writer and hey, so there were six six episodes is what it says. Oh, okay, someone got TikTok. Well, yeah, yeah. Um, so it says Deborah Chow is doing the six episodes. Um, the writer is Joby Harold and. Hannah Friedman does too. So I don't know. I'm looking at these. I'm, I don't know any of these writers. So. Edge of Tomorrow. Oh, John Wick. All right. And so. And writer, producer. Willow. Oh, the 2022 Willow, not a. I'm just looking at these writers real quick. I'm just curious. Huh. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm curious what the what the um, writers are doing. Let's see. Let's see if these pictures come up. Yeah, there we go. So let me see if the share works again. Share my screen. There we go. There we go. So does it really does it let me do a full screen on these? Yeah, there we go. So this is a bunch of us from the last time we shot the film. 
So, uh, so there's me, Marty, Marcus, Quinn, Zach. There's John and Andy. So that was, we're filming some more desert scenes. That's just a still, I think that's a still image. It looks like it came out of a video, but that's a still image of um, us. There's another, there's Zach. Zach was our, are predominantly willing to fall down. If you've ever worn Stormtrooper armor, um, falling down isn't hard, but the getting back up part is uh, a little tough. That's, uh, oh, that's at a ball game. That's uh, Zuckus. There I am. There's Marty's Chewy Zuckus. There we are. My one leg right here, always that armor always pops out. So it's always a weird. That is always a weird thing. So let me. Uh, Yeah, let me see. Dude, I got a lot of pictures. Uh, let me see if I have any. Well, I, that's what I was looking for, and I, I got sidetracked. Let me see if I could. What I was looking for was since there was the announcement of Celebration. And I can't remember if I put any Celebration photos up or not. Um. Let me see. No, that's Ketsu. Yeah, I can't believe I didn't put celebration photos up. I have tons of Steel City Con. Oh, here we go. I have my the first celebration we went to was Orlando. And let me see if I can pull those pictures up. Because tickets are now available. So if you didn't get your ticket, I mean not now available on the 15th um you can get your tickets so if you don't have your tickets yet you can order them for a celebration uh i don't know let me share this one yeah so this is yeah this is for celebration this is when lizzie and zoe first met in person um so that was no saffine's axle There's Zoe and Safi. That's Zoe is uh, season two Sabine and Safi as Ketsu. Um, we finished that Ketsu right before. There's us waiting to get in. Celebration Orlando. That's Lizzie Sal or Lizzie Axel, Zoe and Safi. That's where we were waiting. We had a panel. Sa Zoe had a panel, so we got to get in early, but we had to wait until um, they came to get us. Uh, so just me taking a bunch of pictures. Zoe's first, that's technically her first of being second helmet, but um, not my favorite helmet. Uh, I don't like the, as a Mandalorian Arsenal helmet. Um, so Lizzie's helmet right here, I think, is um, uh, e enemy props. And I hadn't got mine yet. So that's uh, them. Oh, yeah, this is uh, Star Wars. Uh, let me see. Yeah, 1030 Star Wars Fangirls, Star Wars Geek Girls. So that was their um, panel Friday the 14th um, at 1030. They had a panel. And there's Jonah Marie from the Wookiee Gunner, or now her podcast is... Um, Geeky Bubble. She does a lot of Star Wars animation. Um, and that's the girls getting ready to do their panel. That's, uh, you know, the, the on stage, which was pretty cool. I don't know why I'm like hinting his tag on that. Um, let's see. Right there. Um, that's them waiting for their panel with their helmets on. Now, that's them getting ready to do their panel. That's them out with fans, getting the pictures taken. 
with their with the Star Wars Celebration 2017 board at the panel. It was weird how they put these banners up not in front of the middle, so that was pretty weird. But that's the beginning of the panel. It's pretty big, you know. It started to fill out, um, and they did a whole hour panel, which actually you can listen to on StarWarsGeekGirl.com um, at one of their episodes. But here's afterwards, they're getting pictures with some of the fans. Um, this is them waiting. We then went to the, the Saber Guild panel to watch Saber Guild. Um, waiting in line. This guy here looks like he's really not happy that we're getting their picture taken. But what are you gonna do? Now this goes along with the Obi Wan. There's the there's the um, one of the Inquisitors. I forget which sister it is, but one of the Inquisitors. Um, the girls getting pictures with some Amidala's, which was pretty cool. And then we took some pictures of the girls just waiting. It was just nice to see, you know, because they had been friends for years and had never met. So, um, and then here's again the girls. And there's one of the AT-ATs, which was really cool in Orlando. They, I don't, I can't remember if they had it at the AT-AT at, at um, Chicago or not, but it was pretty large. And then these are the, the Rogue Squadrons, which is a bunch of cars. It's another group. Um, again, this was at the, I think this was the Mandalorian bar set up at the Mandalorian Mercs display, which was kind of cool. Zoe sitting on the throne of Mandalore. And uh, they, they found an Ezra. The TIE Fighter. Now, the TIE Fighter was a little tough at uh, Chicago because right behind it, you can see the Star Wars live stage. So it was hard to get to it if they were doing a live show. Um, but Zoe and Rex... Uh, Phasma, that's a nice Phasma. And then we got the whole crew plus, you know, right there. And then this was after they recorded a podcast um, that night. This was early morning. I think we waited in that line. Uh, we had we had press passes to get into uh, the Rebels premiere, so we got into the Rebels premiere, which was really cool. I think Sappy got tired of carrying her staff around. There's me and the girls, my wife and the girls. And this was the big mural they had. This was watching the Rebels. I think the Rebel. We got to see two episodes of the Rebels. Um, so they had the uh, Rebels cast up on stage, which was really cool. And then they called Lizzie and her family up, and uh, they got to be on stage, which was really cool. And there's a Hondo, uh, the Ahsoka Trooper, right here. Some uh, guards. Baby Ahsoka. And then this was a whole bunch of Ahsokas when um, they announced the Clone Wars was coming back. Um, we also had Dave Filoni stop by on this one too. And then these are the animated people dressed up as the animated characters, which I thought was really cool. Um, so... Because I would love to, I would love to have one of those masks, just you know, just for the, just for the fun of it.
me see what else I got here. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's the, uh, there we go. That was the, uh, I think they're Fallout characters. And then we stayed at Orlando. So this is the girls recording a podcast. I think that was one of the last things that computer did before it died. Um, that thing was, it was an old black um, MacBook. And I think when we got back from the trip, the, the battery just crapped out and it was gone. I'm not going to play the videos of their things, but kids sitting there. Now we, there was just so many cool costumes. I don't know why these pictures aren't in order, but um, Holly Fry, another f podcaster, Stuff You Missed in History. Yeah, there's Dave Filoni and E.K. Johnson, Johnston. Um, that's her Ahsoka book, and there's all the Ahsokas. So I actually have a video where I rode the uh, escalator up and down and took like a looped video of it, which was pretty cool. Uh, there's me and the Chewbacca pop. Sappy and the 501st Legion symbol. Another one, which is pretty cool. Who is, there's the Dewback and the um, Balloon Tuscan. That was at the, the Bash, the 501st Bash. We had a party at the hotel. There's Uncle Owen and Aunt Peru hanging out. Phasma. The girls. Uh, there's uh, the first triple zero I ever saw before we built Safi's. That's Christian. That's his. Um, so and there's a chopper. One of the earlier choppers. So, bunch of uh, Mandalorian children, and then another one of the Rogue One or the Rogue Squad, Rogue Squadron cars. And then this was you're getting ready to leave. The uh, bad part is uh, poor Safi lost her glasses that weekend. So that was a it was an odd weekend. Um, All right, let me. There we go. I just want to make sure I don't have any any uh, comments in my unshare my screen. No one. Just, uh, there we go. Oh, there we go. We're back. Yeah, there's such a delay. Oh yeah, Ashley did stop by. Um, yeah, again, I don't know why my chat from Facebook does not, for some reason, my chat does not want to come across. Um, and I don't know why that is. So, yeah, there's Sarah was there. Yeah, James said there was no a ATSD. I don't know. I know. Again, my, my chat is delayed. And I'm waiting for John, John to get here soon. But John was, so we're shooting um, this weekend, we're shooting uh, the second part of the Solo Chronicles. Um, thank you. The background, do you mean on the Kenobi one or the background in my room? This is all, this is a, a pile of some of my Star Wars stuff. Um, but yeah, when, uh, when John gets on here, we were going to uh, talk about him because he, he just got a stormtrooper. Um, thank you. He just got a stormtrooper costume that um, he's working on. So it's a Walt Trooper, Walt's Trooper Factory. So I've never built a Walt Trooper Factory one. I don't know if anyone else has. Um, but if they have, then um, then it uh, that might. I don't know how easy it is or not. Let me see if, um, if this, uh, there we go. I don't know. Um, well, see now my chat, my chat came over, but no one else's chat is. That's weird. Hmm. Oh, well, 
Um, oh no, okay. Wall just come a long way from, okay, good. And when I saw, someone just said, uh, James just said, um, James just said that uh, that Walt's first ones were bad. So, okay, good. Because uh, I think John is going to try to get this thing built by this weekend. So I don't know. He has some ability. Um, we'll see. We'll see what uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, I am. Um, I know with the, with the TK kits, it's it's that first cut. Uh, anyone that's built any of the kits, any any of your kits, but it's always like that first cut is um, the scariest. And then once you kind of, once you kind of, uh, once once you kind of get through that first cut, that scare, that first cut, then uh, it goes pretty easy. Um, Oh uh, yeah. Well, I don't. I must wear mine wrong because my um my one thigh always rides me crooked. So I don't know if I have like a deformed person, if I'm a deformed stormtrooper or not. But if if you ever see a stormtrooper where the one leg is like sits crooked, it's mine. So I don't know. But uh, James, I was showing. So this is probably this is going to be delayed. But James, I was showing some of the. West Virginia pins and coins and some of my TikTok videos. Um, if you guys, anyone near West Virginia, if you ever get to see the West Virginia garrison, um, they're, they're a bunch of good people down there. Um, and now that, now that um, events are coming back, we're getting to see more, more uh, stormtroopers and stuff, starting to do more events and stuff, kind of resetting. Um, Resetting some events. So, yeah, I figured you meant forearms and firearms. Though, um, that's the other reason why, um, as much as I really like doing the TikTok lives, if I accidentally, <laughs> yeah, Creative folks are okay too. Well, I mean, we have a lot of good garrisons around here. We have the um, Karita, we have uh, Star Killer, who's always been good to me, um, First State, um, Karelia. Old line. I, I've trooped with old line more in the last two years than I have with anyone else. Um, so, but whoa, let me see. Wow, I just had my that whole time. I I hit my phone, and um, and I had my. My phone was, was, um, my phone just did a giant post of, of uh, all what I said. So that's weird. Um, yeah, so, uh, we didn't go to, we didn't go to air and scare this year because there was like restrictions and stuff like that. And, um, and I wasn't sure, uh, I wasn't sure what it would entail because triple zero takes a little more more effort than uh, the average costume. Um, so, and I'm not taking any costumes to celebration. I will recommend if you are going planning on getting tickets to celebration, um, you want to get early and get them. I have a feeling they're going to go quick because even last time, like they were, they the whole I think most of the tickets were gone before the afternoon of the first day they were for sale, if I remember correctly, where the previous year, it was a couple of weeks before they sold out. So um, I would highly recommend if you're thinking of going, make up your mind before the 15th and be ready to, to purchase tickets. Um, so. But I'm going to wait. I haven't heard back from John. So if John cannot make it, then we're going to cut this one short. Um, I'm going to text him right now. 
I just hate when people text when they're online here. I have heard about the hotel. Um, I have, and uh, our friends, um, Sal Prowless, Liz Prowless, and, and Axel went. That's Lizzie's uh, family, Lizzie, who does a podcast with my daughter. Um, they got to go to the press opening of it. So if you go to the Rogue Rebels, they did some really cool reviews on it. Um, so... Yeah, yeah, I hope, Aaron, yeah. But yeah, I would um, I would definitely, definitely uh, check out the roguerebels.com and see what they have to say. And then James Welsh, the, again, I don't know why the texts are not coming through on uh, the Facebook feed other than mine. Um, but they did outside under the te tents with Aaron Scare. So um, hopefully it does come back. Safi always enjoyed that. Um, now next year, yeah, next, I mean, Zoe will be in California, so she won't be able to do it next year, but uh, Safi and I can do it. And I'll probably, hopefully have her an upgraded, uh, I'm upgrading some of her triple zero seat. So it'll be a little easier to manage. Yeah, the Star Cruiser, Star Cruiser. So yeah, I would check, um, I would go to, uh, I think it's theroadrebels.com and uh, check out their reviews. Hey, yep, yeah, no problem, man. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. James, excuse me, you too. Yeah, Star Cruiser, I mean, it's, um, I, I don't want to pass any judgments on it yet. It's just, it's probably out of my price range um, for what you get, um, you know. Yeah, I think it's like 6K for two nights for four people, I think, if, if um and so what I saw from, from the from the people I saw that did it, um, it seemed like if you had four friends that um, really like Star Wars, it'd be really cool to go to. I don't know if you were a family of four that, I mean, it just depends on people's budget. You know, I mean, you can spend, you can, pay, you can spend a, a lot of money just going to the beach for a week. So it depends on what you want. Um, but you know, it, it looks cool. I mean, it's, it's, I, I to, I'm not, I'm not going to say I would never go. Um, so, uh, but I definitely would, um, you know, I'd have to see what's going on. Um, I like I have celebration coming up. So celebration is not, it's not half that price, but I recommend if, if you haven't been to a celebration, try to get to a celebration, uh, you know, um, the, the tickets, I don't know if they're what seventy-five dollars a day or two hundred for you know all four days. I forget how they how they out, but you can go on uh, celebration.com and check out the tickets. Um, it's Memorial Day weekend, so for some people that's good because you're off, and some people it's not good because it's hard to take off on holiday weekends. Um, it's also airfare, uh, depending on where you live. Like I live in Pennsylvania, so. Airfare is, is a factor. Um, and I can't take costumes. So if it's in Chicago, we drove, we can take costumes. If it's in Florida, we can drive and take costumes. But I can't drive to California in the time I have off. Um, so California is, okay, California is kind of, I have to fly or, or not go. So, but it is what it is. I mean, again, I can't really, I can't complain. I guess I could complain, but that wouldn't. That wouldn't do me any good. I don't know why this is not. Just, well, um, I don't know if John is going to make it tonight. So I think I am going to call it an early one. I am thankful for all you people that did come. I appreciate it. Um, but uh, yeah, it was, it was just a weird week because we're getting ready for this shoot. And I know John's working on his uh, Stormtrooper armor. And I was working on some stuff. And so we were just, the whole thing was just, 
Um, it was just a, uh, it, it was probably a day we probably shouldn't have done one today anyway, but we were trying to be fair to the people that were checking us out and trying to be nice to them. But um, we'll we'll do again one again next week. I'll probably post up when we're going to do it. Um, but I appreciate everyone stopping by. Um, I might, I'm going to jump over to uh, TikTok and just say thanks to all those people. And then I'm going to get to bed early tonight. So again, thank you very much for ARC 77. Um, I still look at that helmet every time and think I need to print it. So I will talk to all of you later and uh, make sure you go watch the, um, watch the Obi-Wan trailer. Okay, talk to you guys later. Now I made it through the weather. Better days are gonna get better. I'm so happy.